This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. Okay, so I'll, I'll give kind of my thoughts. Uh, no, 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 no. Before I give my thoughts, we're going for the bad ending. We're going for the bad ending, and then I'll give my thoughts on the entire route, and then we'll end the stream. This is going to be bad. This might get super dark. I'm the only one to blame here. Mom and Dad didn't deliberately get hit by the truck just to make me suffer horrible nightmares and traumatic flashbacks. I came down with PTSD all on my own. My death would, I suppose, allow a clean escape from the constant torment of my own conscience. Yeah, I don't think even Yuji, as messed up as he is, would be like, KILL YOURSELF! <laughs> IT'S THE ONLY WAY! <laughs> If you don't like your nightmares, you'll just have to die. Wow! Yeah, that, I don't think even he would say something like that. You kun couldn't have arrived at such a blunt, ugly conclusion. So is it literally no matter what we choose there, she doesn't go through with it? What a terrible choice! <laughs> no, I take that back. You kun might well be capable of such a thought if the situation warranted it, but I'm quite certain that wasn't the case here. If you kun had concluded that I had no choice but to die, he would have told me so outright. But instead, the advice he gave me was deliberately vague. A hint, rather than an order. Well, he said, kill. <laughs> Yukun wanted me to retrace his reasoning, to find my own path to his conclusion. Given that, the answer he wants me to find can't possibly be a simplistic, brute force solution that might pop into my head right away. Do both of these lead to the same ending? I wasn't entirely wrong. I need to kill myself, to destroy my own weakness. Is this actually just this is the same as the good ending? Uh, don't tell me. But this is kind of a... Wow, both of these decisions lead her to not doing what you choose. I mean, good for her, because both decisions were absolutely terrible. But wow, bad on you game developers for doing that. <laughs> the fragility of spirit that I've allowed to define who I am. Mom's done nothing wrong. Not in asking that final question, not in continuing to sleep in her hospital bed. And rationally speaking, the accident that occurred that day was the product of many overlapping coincidences. Easier to blame on the negligence of that drunk driver than anything else. There's no real reason for me to feel such extreme guilt and self-loathing. I think Yukun wanted to say something along those lines. So long as I continue to cower in fear of the past, believing that accident was all my fault, this suffering will continue indefinitely. Instead, I should accept the sin I bear, shoulder only the guilt I deserve to carry, and strive to move forward. I believe that's the answer he was hoping I might find. Truly accepting something is different from merely resigning yourself to it. I can't simply erase my regrets. Even now the words, if only I'd listened to my parents on that day, are running through my mind. In the short term, I think it's unlikely that I'll be able to just move on and embrace a positive mindset. That's true! That is true! It's going to be a lot more difficult than that. Easier said than done and all that. But even so, Yukun said that he believed in me. I won't make him regret that trust. It may be a long, hard road, but somehow I will overcome these nightmares. As a child, that proved impossible, but today I have Yukun. Not to mention Michiru-sama, Maki-chan, Amane-san, and Sakaki-san. They'll all stay by my side, no matter how long it takes. Therefore, I know I can be strong. Therefore. <laughs> Will this actually lead to the the same good ending? I, I'm genuinely curious now. With those final words for my sleeping mother, I leave her hospital room with steady strides. In this timeline, Yuji wasn't in the room with her, which is, um... Oh, oh, here he is. Almost 6.30, huh? It's been over five hours since Sachi told me, Well then, I'll be on my way, and left the dorm. There's been no contact from her or the hospital since then, so I think it's safe to say that she successfully managed to visit her mother. Right about... Excuse me. Right about now, odds are still... Uh, are, Let's try this again. Right about now, odds are she's still sitting next to her mother's sick bed, or perhaps already making her way back to the dorm. In the end, sitting and waiting finally grew too frustrating to endure, so I came all the way out here to meet her. It's not that I don't trust Sachi, I just want to be there to reassure her as soon as I possibly can. To reward her bravery in facing up to everything she's avoided for so long. To hear the answer she found, pet her head and tell her, well done. Then again, I don't know what conclusion Sachi's going to reach after seeing her mother for the first time in years. Yukun, I've decided I have to kill myself. That's not what I wanted! Bleh. 
I gave the poor girl a pretty nasty excuse for a hint. Yeah, you really did! <laughs> if I do say so myself. But simply explaining my reasoning and dropping the answer into Sachi's lap wouldn't have changed anything. Well, you could have worded it better. Before she can accept the truth, she needs to fight through her own hardened preconceptions. That won't come without a struggle. It can't. The guilt she carries is too heavy and unwieldy a burden to shed that easily. There are two sources of Sachi's ongoing suffering. First, her bedridden mother, mother, her bedridden mother whose unfinished final question perpetuates Sachi's fear of her parents' hatred. Second, Sachi's own guilt-ridden heart, still branded with an irrational conviction. That accident was all my fault. Unless these two issues are resolved, I don't think Sachi will ever be free of her nightmares. And I think she knows it. In other words, I've deliberately forced her to contemplate a stark choice between killing her mother or herself. You did that on purpose, you butt! Neither being the correct answer. You butt! <laughs> Sachi needs to kill something else entirely. Something she can only understand when she's rejected the easy alternatives. As she is today, Sachi can find her way to the truth. I genuinely believe that. Hmm? When I finally return my attention to the world around me, I spot the girl in question just on the other side of the intersection. But from this distance, this position, I can't tell what answer she's found. She walks along the road, gazing far off into the sky. Is that an expression of confidence on her face, or a mask of uncertainty? Somehow it seems like both and neither. Yuka. And the instant Sachi notices me, she begins to run toward me. Wait, Sachi! Wow! Really? Um... What? <laughs> Are you... S Okay, it's, I, guys, I don't think this is leading to the same good ending anymore. The truck barrels past the green light and into the intersection, tires squealing harshly against the pavement as the driver slams on the brakes. A fraction of a second later, there's the dull thump of impact. Struck by a vehicle easily over a ton in mass, Sachi's flung through the air. Too fast, too far. When she lands, she lands hard. How did that not insta-kill her? Saji lies crumpled limply on the asphalt, small gasping groans leaking from her mouth in a slowly expanding puddle of blood. What the hell? Just... this can't... be real. Is this my punishment, then? My own sins, red, painted over red in layer after thick layer, until the stain was jet black. Indelible. Still unable to even begin atoning, I tried to take on another's burden, and now I've received my rebuke. Another person who trusted me, who offered me warmth, gone. Another I've brought to misfortune. Kazuki, Asako, and now Sachi. All the women I gave my heart to die. Will it always end this way? Am I cursed? No, this isn't over yet! Sachi! Pulling myself together through a violent effort of will, I dash out into the road. In an instant, I'm at Sachi's side. Hey, Sachi! Talk to me! That's the same truck! <laughs> Maybe it is the same driver. When I shout her name, her eyes ease slowly open, but more realistically, they just reuse the asset. Sachi! <laughs> really? Ah. Now, only now, do I finally understand. Sachi must have felt exactly as I do in this moment. As if my heart's been gouged out of my chest. Still beating. I'll carry this with me from now on. For every moment of my life, waking or asleep. The not knowing. Never to hear what answer she found. Never to know what she's thinking in this moment. The guilt. The irresolvable, eternal guilt. Fine. I won't hide from my punishment. If Sachi failed to atone for her sin, I'll accept her share of suffering with the rest. Okay, yeah, that was the bad ending, clearly. If it actually was the same driver, then they really should stop letting him drive. Yeah, I think he, at that point he might get his license revoked. Okay, wow. Okay, well, now we have the complete picture of Sachi's entire route, so I guess I'll go over it. On the whole, I think it was a good story when it was actually focused on the story. 
There were definitely some parts that were, like, very unbelievable with the whole, like, oh, yeah, we're gonna allow you to blow up the school. Like, even when they tried to explain that, it was still very unbelievable. Sachi... Hmm. I liked Sachi at the beginning because she seemed like the only semi-normal person. She got weird in this route, like, borderline insane at times. I, did, I really like the flashback sequence. Again, when it actually focused on the story of Sachi's past and how she's trying to move past it, I really liked this. It was very good. I also like the CGs, for the most part. Now, let's move on to what I don't like. Literally all of the sexual jokes and references and sex scenes could be completely removed, and not only would it not change the story, the story would actually improve as a result. It would make it a much more enjoyable game to play, but I'm probably in the minority for that. I've mentioned it before, that final decision between the good and bad ending was absolutely terrible. No matter what you pick, Sachi doesn't go through with it, and it really doesn't seem to make any sense why one option results in her dying as opposed to the other option leading to the good ending. Also, I think the game went way too far with trying to recreate Sachi's accident, or like her, her parents' accident with her, to, even down to her final word basically being the same as her parents, which was a little narmy. I'm like, really? So I was not a fan of the way the good versus bad ending was handled at all. I was not a fan of all of the sex references. And I felt like Yuji was very... manipulative in this route. Maybe he's just a manipulative guy, and he's he's not that likable of a character. Having said that, there were some funny lines in this. I did. I think I did enjoy... I'm glad I did this route. But if, if the other... I, <laughs> I expected the Sachi route to be one of the cleaner routes. If the other routes are dirtier, then, like, oh man, I'm not sure if I'll actually be able to play them. Because there, there were definitely times during this playthrough where I was like, mm, I kind of want to stop. Should I even continue? But I'm glad I finished it out to the end. I like that ending. The good ending was a cute ending. I, I did like that. I, I kind of liked the... Even some of the parts where it wasn't focused on the story, I did enjoy. Like, I enjoyed our, like, beach trip of her. I know that did kind of tie in at the end, but even before that, it was cute. I liked Sachi's singing voice. That was also great. On the whole, I think that this route, like, it had some good ideas. I don't think it was quite executed as well as maybe it could be. But that was just me. All right. So that's going to do it for Fruit of Grisea for today, and I'm also going to be taking a break from playing this game because, uh, yeah... I was hoping for more action and less sex. That's kind of how I wanted this game to roll. Anyhow, I will be replacing this with a new stream on Saturday. Still not sure what it'll be, but it'll probably be a decently long... Not decent, like... Not as long as Grisea, obviously, but... I'll be streaming that for longer chunks than my Monday-Wednesday stream, so it might be a bit more ambitious. It'll probably be something very different. It won't be another visual novel, I can tell you that. Anyhow, I guess you'll just have to see for yourself what it will be ne what it will be next week. All right. I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you have a great rest of your weekend and God bless.